Hey guys, how's it going? Reactions here, and I just wanted to quickly go over uh, Twixter for when you're editing COD videos and stuff. And uh, I'm not a pro with it yet, I know how to use it decently, but I just thought I'd show you guys how to use the basics of Twixter. And um, you're gonna need some pretty high uh, frame rate footage, uh, 59 frames is usually the best. And also, you're going to want to have high quality footage and make sure it doesn't move a whole bunch or else it'll get really wavy. Uh, this isn't the best clip that I could have used for an example, but it's what I'll use anyway. So the first thing we're going to want to do is have our clip in here, go composition, new composition, and my phone vibrated, like a... Okay. And we're going to name this Twixter, just because, and we're going to set the frame rate to 59.94, and hit OK. And I'm going to vibrate it again. Alright. We're going to drag in our clip, and as you see here, our clip's on the uh, timeline. And we're going to want to check this um, button here, sort of like three film reels. And it'll, what that is is frame blending, and we're going to want that for Twixter to do it in general pretty much. And after we do that, we're going to want to go up to layer, go to frame blending, and select pixel motion. And uh, that'll pretty much help Twixter do its stuff as well. So once we've done that, we're going to want to go to effect. Um, uh, wherever your Twixter is and select Twixter and we're going to want to drop it down oh first thing we're going to want to do actually is you'll see here it says input frame rate you're going to want to put the frame rate of your comp so 59.97 and that'll do that then we can go down to our clip here click the little arrow click it on effects click on Twixter and then click output control and uh, that'll bring down this and you'll see here we have our speed. We're going to leave our speed at 100. Go to about where we want to start the Twixter. I'll start it right when this person shoots. So what we're going to want to do is check the little stopwatch here. Go ahead like 6 frames or something like that. There. Uh, make a new keyframe. Set the speed down to something like 3. And then go back up. And we're dog. We're going to just stop the Twix or whatever. Just for example, I'll stop it here. We'll set another keyframe right at the end. Go ahead a few frames. I'll just use this. And set the speed back to 100. And as you see, phone. As you'll see, there's a. Now we have our normal footage. Then we have our slow down Twixter here. Uh, there's a little bit of waviness because of the footage, but uh, that's pretty much that. And you can do what you want with that. It's really helpful. You see it on a lot of montages these days, and it's really smooth and looks pretty nice. So if this helped you guys at all, uh, feel free to give uh, give the video a like. Also, uh, remember to subscribe to stay updated for more tutorials. And if you have any requests, uh, leave a comment below. Send me a PM. I'll get back to it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.